but thankfully we got this little corner all to ourselves. And really the only flat bench we could find was on the spin machine, so don't hate us too much. Normally we would just do the barbell, but you know, they're taken, so hey, make it work. And we're starting with the bent over barbell rows, and it's gonna be supersetted right into the barbell press. Now, if you really want an overall upper body pump, you pair up both back and chest together. And if you've never done that before, well, you're in for a real treat because once you do it, you'll probably never want to go back because just a massive amount of blood flow in a concentrated area, the back, the chest, two pretty damn big muscle groups and they're both opposing each other. And that's why we pair them up like this. It is the last day of the last phase. So we're gonna hit it hard. Here we go. We're gonna go through the three stages of the pump, as I like to call it. There's three layers. You get the sweatshirt, the t-shirt, and then finally, the last stage is you reveal your tank top when you have your full pump. It's kinda like a great reveal. But we're gonna wait till a couple of exercises in. I skipped a level. I skipped a level and went straight to tank top. Cause I didn't have anything on under my sweater. I didn't have a shirt. I guess that means for the third level, I might have to go shirtless, but it's the final day, we gotta go crazy. As you can see, we're doing V-grip pull downs with kneeling landmine press. We had to get a little creative on both because it is crazy busy in here this morning. Me and Brandon used to have the tactic of coming in early, you know, seizing the day. Early bird catches the worm, all that good stuff. Well, there's a lot of birds awake, I guess, because uh, this place is never slow. So we had to uh, vary it up a little bit with the, with the V-grip. You can see we're just sitting on the floor and then with the kneeling landmine, we're actually using a cable machine, which in a way is a great way to be showing this because it shows you can vary things up. If one machine is taken, feel free to get creative with another. There's always a way of performing said exercise in nine out of 10 cases. Here it is, the third superset, and we are pairing up single arm dumbbell rows right with single arm dumbbell press. Funny thing about this one is it's not only unilaterally engaging uh, each side of the body, so you're concentrating on one side, then on the next, and like we said many times in the past, if you have uh, a dominant weaker side, which most people will do, you can always switch back, start on the weaker side, go to the dominant side, and then switch back to the weaker side for a few more reps if you wanna kind of hopefully balance out any kind of uh, asymmetrical problems you have there. But if you don't, feel free to just go right into it. And what you'll notice on especially the single arm dumbbell press is the engagement in the core. So what's happening is your core, uh, specifically your obliques, are really gonna have to contract and engage to stabilize the motion. So when you're bringing that one side down, the body's gonna wanna counterbalance because the weight's gonna pull you one way, so you're gonna have to really engage it. Uh, and what's gonna help in this, if you have problems getting your balance, is get a really wide stance on the floor with your feet. That's gonna help stabilize you a bit more because you're increasing your base of support there. But other than that, pretty simple. With the rows, bring that elbow nice and far up and uh, retract the scapula. And then right into the dumbbell press after the 10 reps of the dumbbell rows. And uh, same thing, you know, you're not gonna get the same kind of scapular retraction as you do on a normal barbell or dumbbell press when you're doing it bilaterally. But with the unilateral exercise, what we're doing in the press is you do wanna try to get that nice stretch in the chest. And once you do that, that weight is gonna to wanna to pull you to one side and again, gonna engage the core and stabilize the whole motion. But all that being said, this is the third stage. So, here we go. Now I'm caught up with Hudson. Let's do it. That will definitely get you winded. It's weird when the, the abs, your core contracts during the single arm press. You'll feel a little bit more difficult time getting a nice deep breath because your breaths are gonna be shorter because you're flexing the whole time. So that's why I talked about it before performing these exercises. You know, there's nothing worse than right when you're in the middle of the superset. Someone, and I don't know who it is because unfortunately you never can tell, someone literally shits their pants. <laughs> YouTube has 360 cam, VR cam. Pray to God they never get smell cam. No one will ever watch a gym video again. Next superset, it's gonna be the back extensions with rows, so it's combination movement here. You're extending in the back, getting the rectus spinae muscles, and then immediately into that, you're gonna be rowing the weight upward, so you get a lot of back activation too. It's kind of that pairing exercise is perfect. And the good thing about the rows is you're 
extending the back with the weight, so it's, it can be pretty stressful for the complete, you know, full back uh, meat shield, as we like to call it. Then superset right with the underhand flies. Funny thing about the underhand motion, since it's uh, the uh, different grip there, where the palms are facing upward, it's actually going to be a lot of engagement in the um, clavicular portion of the chest, which is really nice because that's one weak area that we're trying to work on. And um, that's it. Let's do it. Oh, I'm winded during this workout. Crazy. Catch my breath. Thankfully, we're out of the shit zone over there. I actually feel like I can get some real oxygen. It's the final, well, almost the final exercise, but I got, you know, I got to hit the stage three. Said I would. Let's do some commando rows. Dude's cutting plan is over. Yeah. 